is on um, so basically nine years in the community what I learned and what I gained. Okay. So my first creative crew meetup was in uh, January two thousand and nine. That was at uh, in Moxis in uh, Mox Road, I think. Mod Road. Yeah, that was Mark Sun's place. And uh, fun fact, I think some of you may not know is that Creative Crew started out as an official Adobe user group. Right? It started by our good friend Stefano over there. I'm happy that he came today. You. Right, this was the picture of the first meetup. Right, uh, I was hoping Linus come and see this really awful picture of him, but he's not around today. <laughs> so for those who are uh, where that is, uh, Linus is one of the one of the uh, uh, organizers. Not here today. Uh, that's me and my one of the first few uh, in Central Library. Okay. This was May 2009. This was the first. I ever gave at Creative Studios in Tampanese Library, I still remember. I was talking about PHP. <laughs> I, I remember Sayani was talking about Photoshop as the first one in Geylang East, right? Yes. Black Yes. 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 I have a very good memory. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, so, yeah, I'm actually very happy that Sayani is the person who presented with me today because uh, Sayani is like probably my longest friend in the whole uh, community. Uh, longest running friend. <laughs> yes, that you frequently see. Yes, so I made a lot of interesting. I made a lot of friends. I made a lot of very interesting people. Kimming, Kenna, you know, Jian. Everyone from the community. Yes. And this is a few pictures from our three crew. And you see Philip over there. Right. As well. Um, so, and it's because of our, I think. I uh, Saini went out to other meetups and I also went kind of like followed her and I went to other meetups as well. I right, ventured out and every meetup has own different mix of people. They're all into different things. And this is one of the meetups that uh, Saini organizes. I think she did not. Chian and Saini and, uh, and engineers that actually, actually organize this meetup every once in a while. It's called Deep Brunch. Um, this is the latest one in 2017. This was you know, two months ago. Yeah. So what it what it is a very informal gathering of uh, the geeks, and and actually not any geeks. Anybody who wants to come can just come, right? Uh, just hang out over lunch. They they put the event from like what 11 to two, I think. Yeah, 11 to two. So it's like you can just come and so when you want to come, you can go as and when you want to go. This is usually everyone stays for the big photo at the end, which is like to see almost a hundred over people, right? Um, yeah, and one of the very interesting person I met was uh, William. I think a lot of you know him. Uh, he is the guy in the center there. I recently just went to Chiang Mai with him last week. Okay, and um, yeah, it's because I went to I met him because I went to Geek Camp, which is another meetup. From there, I actually showed, I remember Chin Mei and uh, Shan, and they were all going like, you have to, you have to show this to the science center guy, who is this guy. Uh, at the time, William was working for the science center, and that was actually how I got to know. And William, I didn't meet him at Geek Camp, because he left or something, but I didn't meet him there. I met him because he came to a creative crew meetup. Uh, he came and he was actually listening to Pritam's Talk. And Britta is another very good friend of ours who has given many presentations. Uh, I think he couldn't make it today. And it's from there I actually met. I actually got to know William and William introduced me to this thing called the Maker Movement. And that was kind of like the other side of stuff that I did, I did in the community. I, uh, I helped him with another community event. It was Arduino Day 2014. Uh, see some familiar faces. Uh, Jinmei over there, William, uh, Oxu, right, um, and along the way, what happened was I, I this was something that I was very interested in doing, and I to create my own PCB bots, and it's because of the maker community I started to make PCB bots, right, and it's something that I've been doing for the past 
four years now, three, four years now. And it's only possible really because, you know, every time I make one, I show to people, people give me comments, they encourage me, you know, you should do this, you should do that, you should try this, you should try that. And it's, it, it helps me to keep going on and keep doing the next iteration and get, getting better and better. And things. So, what I like to say is that because of the community and the encouragement people give in the community, right? You learn new things, you try new things, learn new skills, and well, then you find new ways to do old things. You know, people give you com comments like, "Oh, I'm doing the same thing as you, but I do it this way," and then you you, you learn another angle of doing things. And this and this actually uh, applies to everything. You know, it can be programming, it can be Photoshop, it can be photography, it can be videography. And that's why I feel it's important that people actually mix together and mingle together and you know learn from each other, right? So, and then um, then the next thing that happened for me was Maker Fair, which is uh, uh, something that William actually brought to Singapore, and now it's been ongoing for like six years now. And this is from the some photos from the Lakers. Uh, the latest Maker Fair, which is actually basically a collection of people who make all sorts of crazy fun stuff. This is a this is a picture of a, this this Japanese guy actually makes robots that play instruments. Huh? He actually makes robots that play instruments. I can show you a video later. Uh, I saw him first at certain Maker Fair, and he was brought to Singapore by I think Takasu or something. Okay, and communities also extend outside Singapore, right? Uh, it's because of communities in Singapore, I get to know people from outside of Singapore. This is a recent uh, Chiang Mai makeup party. Uh, last week, I went there with William, and these are all the uh, amazing Thai people that I have met. And they are very creative, both in terms of electronics, design, and everything, because Thailand is a very interesting country, is that they have a very they have their own sense of creativity. They do not, what you see them create is uh, very much their own, it's very original, uh, which they don't, you don't see so much like, oh, this is actually a variation of something else that you've seen before. So what they have created is something very, usually it's very, very uh, original. Like if you have seen Thai horror movies, right? They are, they are, they are, they are very original. You've seen Thai commercials, they are very, very original, you know? And that's, the, that's something that is very interesting about the Thai community. Yeah. Something that when you go out to their community, you learn from them as well. Okay. And so, because of you know meeting so many different people, learning so many different skills, um, some of the skills that from the so from the first day that I actually went from free to to now, things that I picked up, I picked up electronics, I picked up software programming, I picked up woodworking, 3D printing. Um, sorts of other stuff as well, you know, and combined with what was I had in the beginning with all Adobe Photoshop, Illustrator and and all the design uh, stuff that I was started out with Creative Crew with. Okay. So this was one of the projects I made. This is a this is electronics. Um, it's an IoT smart shelf. So basically it's it's a, it's a project whereby we put a sensor into a shelf and this shelf actually is able to count and tell you how much there is inside that shelf. Uh, it's on, and it uploads up, up to the internet and you're able to, to uh, know your stock level. So this is an ongoing project which I've been doing and I'm still doing. Right? Um, so you can see that some of the things from there. Okay, so, for this, I, I, there was 3D printing involved, there was woodworking involved, which skills I picked up along the way, that is uh, DIY circuit, circuit board and everything. Collection of quite a few of things that I learned along the way, which would not have been possible for me to do this project. Right. Then I made this uh, project uh, called Interactive Tablecloth. Uh, this was when I started to, to uh, work with other people in the community, so Linus who is the co-organizer with me. So his specialization is motion graphics, right, and that animation. Uh, Agatha is a lady who does very good sewing, and 
I came in as a person who was doing projection mapping as well as electronics. So we get three different people with three different um, kind of skill set come together to create a art plus science kind of a project. Okay, um, so this is a video of it. What we did was that, so the project was actually for Agatha. Agatha was doing another community event called Fashion Revolution Day, which is a event whereby they wanted people to be aware of uh, where your clothes come from uh, and how much waste there is, how much clothes is actually thrown away every year. So the project was actually this, this cloth and what we did was that we wanted people to understand like, okay, that before you throw away your clothes, you should try to maybe upcycle your clothes, recycle your clothes, uh, buy clothes that is like low chemical uh, output, uh, buy, buy clothes that is fair trade, you know, people uh, who are paid properly for making the clothes, stuff like that. So, Agatha came up with, with a creative concept on the clock and Linus was the person who made the motion graphics. Okay, and we added electronics to it and projection mapping to make it uh, more interesting. So this is a quick video. So what you can do is that you see it's projected onto the image of the tablecloth and we, when people touch it, it looks like the, the animation will play. And the animations are done by uh, Linus and their su and his students. This animation is going to see that cuts it into something else. bigger scale project and because the bigger scale project we could do more uh, I wrote in a lot more people um, myself as an overall project coordinator but I had somebody do electronics someone do software two people do working and four people do motion graphics and so this is a, a, another thing it's again is community right uh, all these people that you see are all people that I met in the community and I know their skill set I put it together and say, hey, I want to do a project that's like this. Will you be interested in doing it with me? And they were like, and the thing about friends in the community is that they kind of say yes very quickly before even asking whether I was going to pay them or not, which was fantastic. Uh, so I need had a help in this project as well. And I'd like to show you, so this is a much bigger project. What we did was instead of doing it on a tablecloth, we did it on an entire wall. Okay, so... This is another quick video. So this again is a project which uh, combines art and science together. So we create a phone app software from the community as well, which you can swipe to a wall and interact with the wall. And we have interactive uh, buttons by the side of the wall which you can touch to actually activate uh, animation
this is a special, so every tube can actually be changed to a different color. This is a special one where we make everyone to keep constantly changing color. Yeah, so that's um yeah so what I really wanted to say is something like this. So we the the world is changing very quick, quickly nowadays, you know, new technology comes out, new things uh, comes out every day. We have to constantly uh, learn and adapt. And that was actually really the the mission that we had for Creative Crew. We wanted it as a platform whereby people could uh, share what they have as well as for people to learn and for the past two years we have introduced a new kind of technologies to a lot of a lot of uh, people like for example you saw that to create to create the project that I had there was electronics and software so we had talks that talk about IOT we had talks that talk about machine learning we had talks that talk about Raspberry Pi Arduino and all the different kind of things that you keep hearing uh, appearing uh, in the news, right? And you know, you hear all these new things that comes out, you know, machine learning and everything, and they you start to not understand and difficult to grasp all these concepts. And creative crew was actually what we wanted to do was to bring somebody in and say that look, uh, this is new, let me teach you something, or somebody who said that I have an interesting way of doing something and. Uh, I'd like to share with you. Right. And so having a, and we wanted a community of people to help, encourage, and guide you to make it easier. Right. And uh, yeah, that is basically all I have. And so um, I'll just move on to what what we have planned for next year. Um, so, what we're going to do is, we're, I've already said that we're going to stop the library uh, after nine years with them. Yeah, and um, we're going to change our format a little bit. We are not going to be so formal like projector, somebody standing up here and giving a talk. Yeah, we're going to do it more informal. So, we will do something like, like what Chian does with OPJS a bit like deep brunch but we will also have group activities which we realized there was something that we would like to try so for example for example during the last one of the talks when uh, Linus spoke about capturing a sun sunset right uh, what happened is that you think yes yeah I know all this is great we hear all the theories and everything but we would like to try it so Linus was actually open and said, okay, why don't we go out and do something? So we will be looking at um, organizing group activities also for something that is an enough interest around something. So it could be, could be photography, could be video, could be electronics, could be a, um, anything. Yeah. But basically, it will be more informal. And if, let's say, there's over coffee and over brunch, let's say it's something it's interesting comes up and every anyone wants to say that like, hey I want to learn about this um, you can come um, we can organize something like this which is a bit more formal we just need to find a place to do it okay. so we will be doing this on the 13th of Jan uh, as our first informal meetup not decided on the place yet but we will be doing it definitely in the town area in the central where it's quite easy for everyone to do to come Okay, so um, Creative Crew has been around for nine years. I'd like to thank everyone who has uh, actually contributed to, to the group. Uh, name is Stefano, who is uh, the person who started the group. And if your name is not there, well, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I, I try to pull as many. I, I like going through the list and trying to pull, you know, people who are who are actually a part of the whole group. Whether you give a talk, we are constant um, person who came, right? And okay, last, and we like to thank uh, engineers.sg, right? They have been uh, recording our talks for the past I think, two years now, right? Especially King Ming, who always comes here.
Okay, so the URL at the bottom, if you go to this URL, you will see every single video that we have. So we have stuff like, uh, so like, like some of the projects I did, like projection mapping, we actually gave a talk on how projection mapping actually works, uh, artificial intelligence, how it actually works. VR 360, which is something is new, which was uh, actually uh, something more up Linus's uh, site. We have 3D printing, like photography, uh, DSL with filters, home automation, Arduino, and acoustics, all sorts of stuff. Okay, and last but not least, I'd like to thank the library. Uh, we could not have not done it without them. Okay. And yeah, so to that's all I have to end of this meetup. Uh, perhaps I'd like to give the floor to the person who started the whole group. Let's know you want to say a few words.